give your bike frame, and I had a layer of protection by using some frame tape. Hi, this is Tony Tony Tensby. We're going to look at our favorite called helicopter tape, put out by 3M and several other companies. Obviously called helicopter tape, it must be strong, it protects helicopters. We're going to give you some tips and tricks for application. It takes time, but it's worth it in the end. Let's take a look. We delved into our used parts bin and came up with an aluminum fork on which we'll demonstrate how to use the helicopter tape. The application is the same whether you're putting on a fork, on a chain stay, or other parts of the bicycle. In dealing with an aluminum frame, it's important to let it warm up to room temperature before applying any frame protection tape. Not as critical with carbon fiber and steel. You'll need several things. Some soap and water to clean the part of the frame you're working on, to get off any residual grease from your hands or anywhere else, some isopropyl alcohol or alcohol swabs. We're going to need to make a pattern. Need scissors, ruler, pencil, and either paper or cardboard. Some soapy water and our helicopter tape. We also want a squeegee. You can either make one as we did here out of a piece of plastic with rounded edges and this is a rubberized shelf liner even better we took one of our CO2 cartridge sleeves and inserted into it a piece of very firm hard cardboard you can even use a little piece of wood and made a very nice squeegee so we can squeeze the water bubbles out and a hairdryer which we'll show you how to use. First wash the area of application with some soap and water then rinse wipe thoroughly dry using either an alcohol swab or a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on a clean cloth we'll go ahead and wipe down the area of application and let that dry thoroughly We'll go ahead and make a pattern of the area that we want to cover. If uh, your paper's not long enough, you can tape two pieces together. We'll put it up on the portion we're going to tape. We'll mark it. We'll go ahead and make our pattern. Cut this out. And make sure that we round off the edges because any points on the tape, the pattern or tape, will catch and may peel off the tape from the frame that we're trying to cover. We've trimmed this pattern slightly because notice the fork is somewhat asymmetric and make sure that it covers the area that we want. We'll place an X on the surface away from the frame. Holding the paper down, take your pattern with the X on it, flip it over and on the paper side of the 3M. Try to conserve our paper. Uh, use an indelible marker. Pencil doesn't seem to work. We'll go ahead and trace. We'll then proceed and cut this out. We'll check that our helicopter tape covers the portion desired. We'll go ahead and slowly peel back the backing of the tape. Careful not to touch the sticky surface. 
we'll go ahead and spray the frame and the back of the tape and we'll go ahead and begin to apply it check that it goes in the area that we want slowly peel back a little bit and press firmly in the center and here's where our hair dryer will help take your hair dryer and we're going to dry just in the very center so it will stick if you're using carbon fiber by the way hold your hair dryer further away so it doesn't damage the carbon fiber we'll peel a little bit more off we'll squirt the back of the tape as well as any portions on the edges above which are not quite stuck we'll come down a little bit more and at this point we're going to take our squeegee going to push down from the middle and then out from either side to remove any air or air bubbles looks very good so far again we'll come down a little bit further a little more another spray both on the sticky part of the tape and the frame we'll come down towards the center squeegee out any water go further back up and again just in the very center to hold it pull a little more backing off we'll wet the sticky part of the tape as well as any edges further up use our squeegee come down the center squeegee out any water or bubbles to either side now we can come all the way down squeegee out all bubbles water if you should notice any bubbles you can use a pin in air, any areas of bubbles poke it use either your fingernail or your squeegee to squeeze out any air bubbles once all the bubbles and water out you can heat the whole surface remember if it's carbon fiber don't get that hair dryer too close so if you take your time and apply it as we did the edges are almost invisible forms a nice seal protect your bike frame the same tools using the same process can be used for invisi frame which is a pre-cut version of helicopter tape with time and patience the tape goes on beautifully, virtually invisible, and gives your bike another layer of added protection. If you have any suggestions, please comment below. Please subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed Safe Cycling.